this video, you'll see how you can program DocuSign to automatically update Pipedrive deals when your clients sign your contract. So if you run your own consulting business or if you run a sales team or if you're in sales yourself, one of the things you hate, and I absolutely get it, no judgment here because I hate it too, is to do paperwork. In the previous video, I already showed you how you can automatically generate sales contract with a click of a button uh, and send them through your uh, through DocuSign to your clients. In this video, we're going to take care of all the steps that happen after the signature. So we're gonna automate all of those little steps that need to happen after the contract has been signed by your clients. So what are those steps? Well, for most organizations, you'll need to mark the activity of sending the, the contract as complete. You'll also want to move the deal stage uh, to a uh, close and you also want to mark the um, deal as closed one. And we both know that that's not it. You should also be attaching the signed uh, DocuSign PDF um, to the deal so that it's easy for you to refer back to in the future if you ever need to. And I also want to go a step further by saying that you should always have a backup for all your signed um, agreements in a cloud folder. So whether you're using Google Workspace or OneDrive. So in this example, we'll also see how to automatically attach this um, signed document into the client folder in your Google Drive. And if you're new to this channel, it's nice to have you here. My name is Sofian Saudi. I'm an ex DocuSign trainer, and I'm also the founder of SolidSign Consulting, where we help businesses increase revenue by automating paperwork and all the boring manual stuff. If you're interested in having experts automate your workflow, you can find the link to book a strategy call with one of us using the link that's pinned in the comment of this video. All right, let's take a look at the steps that you'll need to follow. So step number one, you'll need to customize your DocuSign template. And that's, and I'm gonna show you this. Once you've done the DocuSign part, we'll create another Zap in Zapier to create the automation. And then the third step will be to test that everything works. Let's get going. So very first thing you need to add an extra field in your DocuSign template. So what field do we need to add? Well, we need to add a field that we're gonna hide so your clients won't be able to see it but we want this field to contain the deal title. And the reason we need the field to contain the deal, the deal title is because we're gonna use this information in our second zap to identify the deal in Pipedrive that we need to update. And so if we don't have any um, unique identifier in uh, DocuSign once the envelope is completed to tell Pipedrive which deal to update, we won't be able to do it. So very first thing you wanna go into your um, contract template in DocuSign and then you wanna add a field. You can make it read only and hide it by making it white, meaning that the data will be in there, but your clients won't be able to, I mean, the signers won't be able to see it. And if you want to get up to speed with DocuSign quickly, I strongly recommend that you download my free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet using the link in the description that's uh, down below. It will show you how to use fields, envelopes, and how templates work also. When that's done, when you've updated your template with that field, then the second step is to go to Zapier. And you want to go into the first Zap that you've created. And so um, the reason you want to go in there is because you want to tell Zapier to not only pass to DocuSign all the information that uh, the client will see, like, you know, the um, address, the name, the, 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 the deal value and all that stuff, but you also want um, uh, Pipedrive to send the deal title so that you can use that in the next app. So you'll basically just go in your uh, setup action and then it'll deal name. So this is what I've called the field in DocuSign. I'll just, um, I'll just match this with the deal title field in Pipedrive. When that's done, you can close this and then you can go to the step three, which is you'll need to create that third uh, zap. So what will the trigger be? Well, the trigger will simply be the fact that your DocuSign envelope has been completed. So when you set up your, um, your trigger, you select that the envelope has been completed and yes, you wanna download form data. Then once you've added your trigger, you wanna set up your action. So the first action is to find the deal. So all the setup that we've done in the DocuSign template and Pipedrive, now we need to, to, to basically tell uh, Zapier to look for a deal that has the name contained in the DocuSign field. So you can see here, this is a variable and I've inserted the name of the field so that um, Zapier will need to look for um, the deal that 
has the, a name which is contained in this particular field here. Once Zapier have, uh, has identified uh, the deal, then we move to the next stage, which is to update the deal in Pipedrive. And so here I'm asking Zapier to do a bunch of stuff. So first I want the status to move to uh, one, and then the stage of the deal I want it to go to closed. So essentially I wanted to mark this as closed and then I wanted to click on one for me. When that's done, I also want Pipedrive to attach the file, so the signed document in Pipedrive. So in my action, I've just inserted the name of the uh, DocuSign envelope here. And then I can also select uh, set a naming convention so that I don't have to download, rename, and then upload to Pipedrive the deal. So, and the naming convention can be whatever you want. I just decided it was gonna be consulting agreement for, and then that's the um, company name hyphen deal name can be whatever you want um, and then my last action is to upload the file in google drive so i want a backup of my deal of my uh, signed document so i'm just telling zapier that i want everything to go in that particular folder and then i can also add, um, link the uh, the link of the doc to the document and I can also uh, set the naming convention, which is the same as the one that I've set up in Zapier. So now let's run a test with one of the deals that I still have open in Pipedrive. So I'm gonna start from scratch here and click on activity and send through DocuSign. And so I should be getting an email in a few seconds. So the email just arrived, I'm gonna sign acting as the client. And so um, you can see here that the deal name was small bill small biz LLC deal. So the deal name doesn't appear, but actually I know that it's here because I hidden it in what I've, I've placed it and I know that it's why. So if I hover over here and drag over, I can actually see that the deal name is here. So I know that it's actually been passed into DocuSign. So I'm gonna now just complete all the steps and sign for uh, the client as well as um, the sales representative and then I'll show you the next steps as soon as the envelope is complete. So I'm now countersigning as the sales representative. Start sign. Don't know why this is here. Okay, so now technically the envelope has been completed. So I should see that deal being updated very soon and I should also see a um, document being sent in this, um, this Google Drive folder. And that's it. So as you can see, the uh, deal has been marked as completed and the attachment is here. So if I click on that, I can see my signed document straight from Pipedrive. And if I go into my Google Drive, I also have a copy of the document. That's right here. And if you want our team to build your integration for you, you can apply for a strategy call using the link in the description of this video. In the next one, I will show you how you can automate the invoicing process. So it's from uh, Pipedrive, DocuSign, to QuickBooks. Uh, so I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.